G'day viewers, it's Wednesday. That means it's time for Wanga Fat Wednesday. An acronym that means I'm going to talk about who am I not giving a fuck about today. And today, I'm not giving a fuck about the hurt feelings of all the poor, sad, little, delicate flower petals who were so outraged at Yabdin Abdel Magid. There's about a 90% chance I just said her name wrong. She's a social activist and ABC employee who on Anzac Day posted Lest We Forget then mentioned some refugee countries and destinations like Syria, Palestine and our own little prison camp islands Manus and Nauru. She's making a fairly simple, obvious and true point that when you're thinking about war and commemorating war one of the things you should think about is that war causes refugees. Of the many people who are affected by the war, uh, soldiers, uh, the support personnel, all the service people, the medical staff, civilians, even the ones who don't end up being refugees, the list of people who are affected by war and should be remembered is quite long. Now this fairly simple statement provoked howls of outrage from, well, complete fucking idiots, quite honestly. Somehow, this simple statement's taken to be an affront, a betrayal of the Anzac legend. Yet, it was a simple observation and a truth about war. But also, when people expressed outrage, she said, Oh, that offended people. That was never my intention. I apologise. You'd think that was job done, right? But no, that wasn't it for the bigoted fuckwits. And if you joined in on this dogpile, you are a stinking fucking bigot and you disgust me. More so if you deny bigotry was your driving force. I don't know what upsets people most. That she's a woman, that she's Muslim, that she's brown skin, or she works for the ABC. Because they lost their fucking minds about all of those. The thing that upsets me most about the people that attacked her is not that they're hideous fucking racists, although I hate that about them. It's that they're hypocrites. I'd be willing to lay huge amounts of money that to a person, everyone who piled on, definitely everyone in politics and the media who piled on, is any other time they go, free speech. Oh no, we've got to change the Racial Discrimination Act because of free speech. But when someone makes a tiny statement out of outside of the boundaries of what they declare acceptable, they lose their mind and declare she must be punished, excommunicated, and in many cases, killed. It was actually absurdly easy to find people who in a single sentence would deride Yasmin for being the leader of the PC Brigade and then say she said things you're not allowed to say. These people are so fucking stupid they don't know how stupid they're making themselves look. So yeah, if you were any part of this mob baying about how she betrayed the Anzac legend, you are a disgusting, vile, bigoted, hypocritical moron. And I use moron advisedly. And, oh, interesting when you say legend, you know what legends are? They're not true. And I am, again, willing to bet the overwhelming majority of the people who go on about the Anzac legend don't know a goddamn fucking thing about it. I didn't make an Anzac Day video this year. I've made several over the years. feel like I've said all that needs to be said. And in terms of a message for Anzac Day or war remembrance in general, you could not get much better than the dedication from Ataturk that's at the Gallipoli Memorial. And I'll give you a link if you want to find out more about that. But yes, the Anzac legend is well named because well over what 90% of people think they know is simply not true. It's not that it's misremembered, it's been invented out of whole cloth. It's disturbing the number of people who don't even know the operation was a complete military failure. They've got their, this idea in their head that, yeah, that was our boys showing them what for. It was a disaster, quite frankly. And Two other things that they always say, and I'd really like you to go out and read a damn book to find out these basic facts. They talk about, don't insult the flags, the diggers fought under that at Gallipoli. No, they didn't. The Australian flag did not fly at Gallipoli. They fought under the British flag, okay? Read a damn book. Book. And also, if you want to talk about showing respect to the diggers, again, try and read up on a bit of history and find out that the diggers did not want Anzac Day eulogized. They didn't want it fetishized. They didn't want it to be 
a thing because it was a terrible experience. The people who did not make a big deal about the Gallipoli campaign were the veterans of the Gallipoli campaign. So yes, all you flag-waving, mouth-breathing, hypocritical morons, you're the ones who are insulting the memory and the wishes of the diggers of Gallipoli.